Hello! Welcome back to another Subscription Week at KBS Symphony Orchestra. And leading us through this uh, program this week is a wonderful conductor. Welcome today, uh, Maestro June Markle. I think I heard from one of the other members that you have conducted KBS Symphony before, but I'm just curious. Yeah, I, uh, I was with the KBS Orchestra 23 years ago, oh, so wow. that's a really long time. I mean, we didn't have this wonderful uh, rehearsal studio oh, okay, at that time, okay. and it was not so good, yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. and, um, but uh, everybody was trying very hard, and we had a nice concert. So I'm coming back, and so I'm really excited. My family, my daughter and my wife, they are crazy about Korea oh, okay. and, and Seoul, and they love it here. And, <laughs> K-pop, yes. Great, well we're very excited to have you leading us this week. Have you worked with, our soloist this week is Son Min Su, the wonderful pianist. Uh, have you worked with him before? Is this no, the first time? no, it's the first time. We had a warehouse just before this now and uh, I must say I'm really excited. He's really good and he's nice to work with, uh, collaborating very much and this is something, this type of soloist uh, is what we need for this, ah. this piece because this piece, the second uh, piano concerto by Brahms, is very much about the dialogue between the orchestra and the soloist and so he is, is wonderful for that. Well, let's start by talking about uh, the piano concerto. I was on my honeymoon last week in, in Europe, so we, we were in Budapest for a couple mm -hmm. days and mm -hmm. I was reading, I saw that the second piano concerto was, was uh, premiered with the Budapest Philharmonic, so it was kind of fun to, oh wow, I get to be you know, in the city mm -hmm. where Brahms you know, mm -hmm. first played, so it was kind of wonderful. There was a time in his Brahms life uh, around these two pieces where he settled down in Vienna or near Vienna and then he had a house where he would compose, that was at the Wörthersee, was a smaller lake, okay. very beautiful lake. Yeah. He would go out in the summer and, and compose, a little bit like Mahler, he had also okay. um, a yeah. place. So he was very much inspired by nature and pleasant nature and summer and those, these places are just very beautiful. Uh, so you can feel kind of a happy feeling, relaxed, just describing the beauty. Sure. That kind of leads me into one of my questions about the symphony. Speaking of, he also co was composing the second symphony, also at this vacation uh, lake. Mm -hmm. The second symphony uh, gets compared to the pastoral, you know, Beethoven sixth. He wasn't really happy. He never married. Oh uh, yeah. He had his dream, Clara Schumann, but. Uh, yeah. Never got in a relationship with her, and he always stayed by himself. So, when I look into the music, then I see a lot of pain sometimes, okay. passion, okay. and uh, despair, and then happiness, and trying to find a solution. Yes, in his symphonies also, but he never speaks about that. Oh. He is just kind of these persons who have. Yeah. A wall oh, okay. to the outside, yeah. and so that nobody can look really into. And he makes then his comments and uh, just misguides uh, people. But when you look at the music, then you really can see and feel and hear what passionate person okay. he is. Yeah. I feel in the second one, there are always points where he struggles also. Mm -hmm. Brahms is never just happy. Okay. Yeah. He has to fight for his happiness. Mm. So there is this very pleasant pastoral beginning and then there is part where he really struggles and it gets dramatic, builds up and then up. Um, he has a, some kind of breakthrough and then finds again peace and we have this uh, very deep and profound second movement. Mm. We have a very nice, pleasant, entertaining third movement with very different tempo relationships. It's very lively fourth movement which just flies and, and has a fantastic ending positive and like fanfares come up and so it's a place, uh, also a piece where I think I, it's a breakthrough for him okay. too. Saying, okay, I accept, I, I know my place in life and I found a solution. And that solution you cannot find 
in the first piano concerto ah, and not in the first okay. symphony. Yeah. He struggles to the end mm. and uh, yeah, it's not the This two works, the number two works, the <laughs> symphony and the piano concerto, a good happy time in his life and you hear that in the music. And that's why we love these uh, works. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a really wonderful introduction to these pieces. Thank you so much for sitting down with me, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, to listening to the concert. I'm not playing this week, but uh, looking forward to to the concerts. So, from my side, I'm I'm really looking forward to this concert and playing with the KBS Symphony Orchestra. And then I'm really pleased also to be on your KBS Symphony Orchestra YouTube channel. Thank you so much.